ఈ పొద్దు లైక్ ఈ ఈవెంట్ వచ్చి మా కొత్త సోడియం ఐన్ బ్యాటరీ గురించి ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ చేసేది లైక్ మా ఈవెంట్ అండి సోడియం ఐన్ బ్యాటరీ వచ్చి లైక్ వేరే బ్యాటరీ కంటే సేఫ్ లిథియం బ్యాటరీ కంటే సేఫ్ ఫస్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ వచ్చి లైక్ ఎనర్జీ డెన్సిటీ లైక్ ముందుకంటే ఇప్పుడు కొద్దిగా తక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంతే టెన్ పర్సెంట్ టు టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ పర్సెంట్ తక్కువ డెన్సిటీ లైక్ తక్కువ ఉంటుంది దెన్ థర్డ్ వచ్చి తక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంటే కూడా అనదర్ టూ త్రీ ఇయర్ టూ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ లోపల ఇప్పుడు వాళ్ళు చేసే రీసెర్చ్లో ఈక్వల్ అవుతుంది లేకపోతే ఎక్కువగా వస్తుంది అది వచ్చి డెఫినెట్ ఎందుకంటే లైక్ నా ఫస్ట్ నా వీఆర్ ఎన్ ఫోర్త్ ఆర్ ఫిఫ్త్ జనరేషన్ ఆఫ్ సోడియం ఐన్ టెక్నాలజీ విచ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ లైక్ నా మెటల్ లేయర్డ్ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ అండ్ వీఆర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ ద న్యూ కెమి కెమిస్ట్రీ కాల్డ్ పాలీ అండ్ ఐన్ టు బి రిలీస్డ్ ఇట్ విల్ ఇంక్రీస్ ద డెన్సిటీ బై నదర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఆర్ ట్వంటీ పర్సెంట్ వైల్ దిస్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ఇన్ సోడియం ఐన్ అదర్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఆల్సో విల్ ఇంక్రీస్ సో దట్ వుడ్ దట్ గ్యాప్ విల్ కంటిన్యూ వైల్ వీఆర్ ప్యారలీ వీఆర్ okay uh, the running time is depend upon how much uh, you use so while you are doing this there is a fourth way of improving uh, the density by another 10% in the next one year is in progression it is moving the anode from hard carbon to graphene will also increase the capacity by 10 to 15% with this in a year or 18 months almost both will have the same chemis- same Uh, density of 180 watt hour per kg in 18 months to 2 years from now like you know that would makes it like you know first question on where we are if you look where sodium ion has started 80 70 80 watt hour per kg 4 4 years ago to somewhere around uh, 130 to 140 watt hour today in 4 years literally double the capacity moving forward same thing will happen that's number one uh, number two questions like you know uh, looking at what is to what how it will develop in india uh, definitely like you know we may have to partner with other people who have invested learned made get that the good thing about sodium ion you you don't have to get uh, special uh, materials from outside most of the material if you look at the current layered metal oxide uh sodium ion battery the the material what is majorly used is called uh, NaCuFe MnO2 means uh, sodium copper ferrous magnesium almost all the materials are available and all the materials are in regularly in use there is no rare earth material like lithium in this that's number 1 that makes it possibility for any country to manufacture their own battery cells that's very much possible so and the next one have you done r&d or not can you have a talent or not of course you have to like the way if you look at indian automobile industry developed partnering with the japanese if you look at 30 years ago it was uh, tvs suzuki escort yamaha hero honda like that there were collaborations where we learned and we developed and today all of them are competing with each other same thing will happen in this chemistry even moving forward until we develop our talent develop our resources like you know get to the to to the investments so the collaboration might happen even the europeans are licensing technology from the chinese so we are not going to be different we might be getting the same thing and we are working with some partners who are willing to license to us we are looking to put our own cell manufacturing um in india in the next 18 to 18 months to 2 years in sodium ion and by then we also feel the change in the chemistry will also materialize because it's rapidly changed many chemistry in the last 5 years 
So that will materialize. This is what we are looking at. No, no, we had we are just launching the product. So we will work with all the partners, like you know, uh, the companies which will use our products to put it in their products, like you know, automobile, uh, vehicle company, and all. Right now, we have only one partner. So we are using our battery AR4 technology to put it in the vehicle. In addition to that, we will launching our own starter batteries soon. So what's the price? The price, like you know, um, would be like almost same or slightly higher than that of current lithium chemistry. Okay, so the lithium price if falling down, you can have to look at it in two ways. One, either you think it is a glut. Glut, if it is a glut, the correction will catch up. If it is not glut, okay, then there is a difference on pricing. Sodium ion, we are expecting it to reach to 75 to 80 dollars within the next one. The current glut, lithium ferrite phosphate has gone to 70 to 75, okay? So if it is not glut, there is a possibility of we catching up. Assuming if lithium falls further, okay? Assuming like, you know, it goes from 75 to let's say 55, okay? There may be some more time to do catching up. This game of like who catches who, like you know, will continue. Uh, hello, my name is Abhishek Reddy. I am involved with Sodion Energies in the form of an investor at the moment. But I'm gonna going forward, I'm gonna be involved a lot closer with Sodion Energy. So the strategy that Sodion Energy is targeting right now at the moment to begin with is with its distribution partner AR4 Tech in the conversion of uh, aftermarket uh, two wheelers. So basically, this is anybody who has an older two wheeler that has run out its warranty. Uh, can basically come to us and then we will replace their, uh, the gas, uh, the few petrol or diesel powered uh, motors with our electric. Basically, sodium ion energy, uh, sodium ion batteries and we will, basically the, you can run your uh, two-wheeler with all the advantages of sodium ion, which in this case being safety, uh, high power utilage, so it'll, the torque is going to be a lot more. Um, and a long, the lifespan of the bike is going to extend by a lot. So, which is not something that any other battery can give you, or uh, let, let's say lead acid or uh, lithium ion as well. So that is one of the big strategies. Another strategy that Mr. Bala is following with this is the, conver the conversion and manufacture of other agricultural cold storage devices using sodium ion batteries, uh, three wheelers using sodium ion batteries, uh, U the UPS whose demonstration that you could see, which has its, uh, made out of its own advantages. So we're following not just providing the battery packs for any customer, customizing for the customer, but also providing the so the current chemistry of sodium ion is perfectly suited. So lithium, on the other hand, cannot use that high current discharge. So lithium does not do a very good job with that, whereas sodium, on the other hand, can. Uh, there is another alternative uh, lithium chemistry which can do this, which is lithium titanium oxide, but the price of that is over 10 times that of sodium ion right now. So in that case, uh, we are very well positioned to take over that market. Right now, that's a very big market worldwide and in India. Um, so yeah, so I think to do all of this, we uh, did our first launch in Hyderabad today, uh, but we're also gonna do there were press meet today, but we're also gonna do a launch in Hyderabad the first week of March. And going forward, we're also doing a road show in the rest of the country where we will be follow, going through all of the biggest cities in India. That's Bombay, Bangalore, Delhi, Pune. We're going to be doing a similar thing, but that, then we'll actually have a lot more products where Mr. Bala has gotten his three wheelers, cold storage. And yeah, we'll be basically launching a product in different cities of India.